Hi guys, welcome back. It's time to learn how to make some class diagrams so we can document our designs. So I've created a directory with just a few files in it. It's got our, our uh, friendly frogs.typescript file that we've been using to uh, explore class hierarchies. It's got a, a simple readme file, which I'm going to use as a sort of a placeholder for a generic markdown document. And it's got a few other things here that aren't really relevant to what I'm doing today, so I won't even bother describing them. So uh, let's start with the frogs.typescript file. What I'd like to do is to simply uh, copy the entire darn thing and paste it into a plant text UML document. So we, I'm going to leave the start UML and the end UML from the uh, plant text examples. And I'm just going to paste the whole darn thing in there. And what I'm going to do is go through the functions that are defined and just get rid of any code that's there. So uh, here I have some code. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, there's no, this is code here, so I'll get rid of this, the actual code. I'm going to leave all the type information just because um, we can use that. Let's see. And uh, so that's my abstract generic frog class. I'm going to get rid of the code for the constructor. Zap that guy. I'm going to get, get rid of any code. Basically, anything that's executable, I'm just going to zap it. And the amazing thing is that uh, plant text is smart enough that it, do it doesn't know how to interpret code, but it knows how to interpret class relationships. So what it should do, do here, if I can finish this guy. Let's see. Get amphibian. Get rid of all that. Lovely, beautiful code. Okay. So I've all I've got left are the uh, function signatures and the type information from various functions and attributes. Okay. So I haven't, other than that, I haven't really uh, changed anything. I've just left all the class definitions. I'm going to say refresh. <clears throat> and I'm going to open up the window a little bit. There we go. And you can see there's my beautiful class diagram. I've got the enum of the life stage category. I've got the amphibian interface. I've got the generic frog, which extends. The dotted line here means it extends the amphibian interface. And I've got the three subclasses. So plant UML is actually, or plant text, is actually going to take my TypeScript almost verbatim uh, and produce a workable class diagram. Now, the question is, how do I actually use that in documentation? And the answer is, I get a link to the PNG file. Okay, Then I'll pop back over to the readme. It's just a markdown file. And I'm just going to skip to the end of the readme, and I'm going to add another section. I'll call it uh, amphibian classes and maybe add a dotted line under that guy. And then I just I want to include an image uh, from this external source, plant text. So the spelling for image is uh, exclamation point, and then in square brackets you put the alt text. So if someone is looking at it in a format that doesn't support images, they'll see the alternate text. So I'm going to say uh, plant text UML and amphibian class diagram and then in parentheses I'm going to paste that URL so there's the URL pasted now the lovely thing one nice thing about uh, Visual Studio Code I have to confess is the ability to view markdown uh, in a side-by-side -side rendered format so I'm, I'm seeing the rendered markdown right next to the actual markdown from the document. It doesn't look like it uh, knows about tables, but look, it gets the, uh, it actually gets the class diagram from plant text and pulls it in as an image. So that means you can uh, have a markdown document which describes the classes and then also uh, pull in the actual UML diagram. Pretty cool.